Panorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -One, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Digital Photography One-on-One. -on -One. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we have a great question from Kristen in Fresno. Kristen asks, I'm trying to sell products on eBay. Those products range anywhere from small jewelry to small boxes. Is there a great way to take pictures easily and inexpensively? Well, Kristen, there is a way to take pictures of products to sell on eBay or put on a web page, something like that. And the way to do it is use something called a light tent. Now, the great thing about a light tent is it will work for jewelry, it will work for small packages, or just about anything you want to put in there. And light tents come in all shapes and sizes, so you can get really large ones if you have larger products, or really small ones if you're just shooting jewelry. And so we're going to go look at a light tent and all the different ways that you can use it for shooting products. So this is what a light tent looks like. It's just a big tent looking thing. The nice thing about this is you can put this outside. We're just out here in a parking lot and we have really bright sun. And what this is going to do is it's going to absorb all that sun. This is a translucent material. And so it's just going to surround our little product here. This is a letter holder and it's going to surround that with nice soft light. So there's not going to be any shadows. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put that right in the middle of my light tent. And then I'm going to close it up by using these Velcro fasteners here. So I'll close this in, and so now I have a totally enclosed space. So once I get that done, I'll just do this really fast here, um, I can shoot into this, but there's a zipper on the side here, and so I can shoot through this thing. So I'm just going to take my camera here and uh, point it through here and take a shot of this really fast. So I'm shooting right now at aperture priority mode at f8, and so that's going to give me nice, uh, nice depth of field so everything is in focus. So I'm looking at my letter opener, or letter holder here, and I'm going to take a shot. And when I look at that, well, it actually looks a little underexposed. And there's a reason for that. Inside here, we have lots of white. And if you remember from our exposure compensation video, when we have lots of white, that's going to fool our camera's meter, and so everything will turn to be gray. So if you're shooting on a, a light tint like this and your images are coming out uh, gray and you can't get that background to be exposed correctly, well, it's not that you don't have enough light, it's that your camera's metering is being fooled. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to check my histogram. And my histogram is showing that I'm about one stop underexposed. And so I'm going to use my exposure compensation, I'm going to turn it up by one stop. So I'm overexposing by a stop. I'll go ahead and put my camera back in here, take my shot. And that looks much, much better. Well, I really like what we're seeing here. I'm going to take a few pictures. I'm going to change my setup a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this inside and I'm going to show you how you can use a light tint with strobes. Well, now that we're inside and not competing with the really, really bright sun, I can actually slow down and tell you a little bit more about this light tint and show you some of the options that you have. The light tint I'm showing you today is made by Fotec and they have all different options, some small light tents and large light tents, and there's other brands as well. Some light tents, in fact, are so large you can actually physically walk inside them. They're seven or eight feet tall, so there's all kinds of options for shooting with these guys. Now this one here, um, it comes with a, uh, some panels that you can attach and, and remove, so I've shown you that. It also allows you to shoot vertically as well as horizontally, and I'll show you some options with that. Now because of the inside of this, we've got zippers and we've got you know, some ugly sort of translucent material. If I just shot into this with nothing inside it, well the image isn't going to look so great. And so uh, with this guy, it comes with a couple of different pieces of plastic, and these are just nice, glossy plastic, white pieces of plastic. This one is if you're shooting uh, vertically, you can actually stick it in the bottom here, and then you have this nice uh, gloss piece on the bottom. And then if you're shooting horizontally, then there's another option, and it's this, uh, this horizontal piece. And so whenever I put this down, this will fit right in the bottom. Now before I do that, I want to show you something else you can do if you don't want this uh, piece. This works great if you're shooting down onto your subject, but if you're shooting into it, you need to have something that's similar to a white seamless, which is the kind of paper we have in the background here. And so this comes with that as well. And so this actually has two options. It has a black option, which is, this is almost like a, a velvet 
And so this black cloth is great if you're shooting things like diamonds or jewelry. So it'll really make that pop off the background. Or if you want a more traditional white background, there's this. And this is, again, it's sort of a velvety kind of color. And so uh, it's white, and it's going to absorb light. So I'm going to put that in really fast. And so to do that, I'll put this right side up. Um, what I'm going to do here is I want this to be a sweep. In other words, I want it to, to sort of stay up on this side and then sweep down. This has Velcro attachments, and so I can Velcro this in in different configurations. So I'm going to Velcro it to the back. It's going to sweep down and give me this nice background. So I'll just pop my head in here and stick this on here. And so that's Velcroed in really nice. I'll stick it back, roll this out, and then there's two more Velcro attachments there. And now I have this nice white sweep in the back. And if I need to, I can adjust that a little bit to make sure it's perfectly situated the way I want. And I'm going to add something to this, though. I like the white background, but I like the gloss as well. So I'll just take this guy, stick it on top of that. And so then I'm going to combine the gloss with a, just a nice white background that's going to block out the cloth and the zippers and everything that are inside there. So lots of options, and you can mix and match these and do all kinds of different things. Now the other thing is, once I have that done, I need to close up this side panel. Um, and so before I do that, I'm going to take my product here. This is our uh, letter holder. And I'll position that, and I'll get it sort of where I want it to be. And I'm going to close it up. So closing it up is just going to tighten this, this uh, cloth right here, make sure that it's going to really give us some soft light. I'm doing this sort of quick here. So, okay, good enough. Now, once I have that in there, I'm actually going to spin this so I can shoot this. So I'm going to spin this around just a little bit. Okay, now what you can see is I have this front panel here that's got a zipper. Then that's so I can put my camera through that. This also just comes completely open. So if I want to shoot lower or have more space or get in there to adjust my product, I can do that as well. So I'm going to attach this on here. Okay, now I'm going to take this stuff and put it on the side here. I'm going to show you what I'm using to light this. Now outside we just used a bright sun and that works great. Um, and if you have the sun coming from the side, if you want to change the shadows inside, you would just sort of move the uh, light tint toward the sun or away from the sun to change the shadows. If you're inside, the nice thing is you can illuminate this with almost anything that illuminates light. So you can use a nice window with side light coming in from the sun. You can use some hot lights that are pretty inexpensive. You can use normal light bulbs. You can use some uh, lights that you get at maybe a, a home improvement center that you would use maybe in your normal outside garage. You can light this thing up. Or you can use strobes. So what I'm going to use today are a couple of 580 EX2s. And I've mounted these to some pocket wizards. And these pocket wizards allow me to shoot wirelessly. And they also allow me to control the exposure from my camera, which is really nice. So I'm just going to put one on the right side. I'm going to put it sort of to the front. And so we have light coming in. And I'm just going to sort of put it like that. And then on the other side, this actually is a 550 uh, EX. And so it's a little bit different. So I've got that guy there. Make sure these are all on and firing here. OK, it is. So I'll put that about right there. I'm going to tilt this up just a little bit. OK, so now I've just got these two lights that are basically uh, shooting toward my uh, subject. I'll make sure that's all working. So I just tested my lights. And then I'm also using the Pocket Wizard Mini, and that is what triggers those lights. So I'll hit the test button. So those are both working. So now I can actually take a shot and make sure that it works. So I'm going to take a couple of pictures and just show you what my product looks like from this viewpoint. So here's the shots that I got. Well, wow, and those shots look pretty great. I love how we have that highlight in front of the letter opener. And that's caused by this flash right here shooting sort of the front. And we can change all this stuff by just moving our lights to the side or to the back. So I'm going to move this to the back over here. And I'm going to take this guy over here and move it to the back. And you'll notice that we still have nice light surrounding it. But the highlights on the uh, letter opener are going to change a little bit. So um, let me just take a shot here. And 
Sure enough, yeah, we've changed the way that highlight is on the front of that. And so by having your external flashes like this and moving those around, you have a lot more options for controlling exactly how your lighting setup looks. You might want to put one of these on top or to the side, use some different stands. And again, you can use almost any type of light to illuminate this. I really like using strobes because it has a little bit uh, more light output. So you don't have to worry about having your aperture so far open. You can shoot it maybe F10 or F15, something F16, something that's a, a little bit more depth of field. And you have a lot more control. But that is how this works. It's using a light tint. And so we're gonna shoot uh, some more products in here just so you have more ideas of what you can do with this. But I highly recommend a light tint, a couple of strobes, and you're off to the races. Well, that was tons of fun. Remember, if you're like Kristen and you have a question about photography, you can send that question to me at askmark at adorama.com. Or if you'd like to look at some articles about product photography or our past episodes, you can always see those at the Adorama Learning Center. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.